Yes, people, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, do all that good stuff. And let's dive into this video with Chelsea taking on Brighton in the Carabao Cup third round tomorrow night at Stamford Bridge. They are desperately, desperately in need of a win given the start to the season. The Cup represents a bit of a reprieve from the Premier League. Cups got to be taken really seriously this season. We haven't got anything else to play for. We're not going to win the league. We're not in Europe. So these Cups need to be taken seriously. We haven't run a domestic Cup since 2017. So there are no excuses in this game not to be going full strength, not to be taking it as seriously as we possibly can. And in this video, I am going to be picking the lineup that Maurizio Pochettino needs to pick in order to win this game against Brighton. Pick this lineup and we will win this game. That is my promise to you people. But whether the gaffer is going to do it or not, we'll have to wait and see. But we had a little injury update uh, from the club earlier on uh, on Tuesday with the following update. No players are actually back, but Benoit Badiashile and Carney Chukwameka are back in partial team training, which is a good thing. Obviously, Badiashile should have been back for this match, suffered a minor setback. Chukwameka seems to be progressing well with his rehabilitation. Bessinelli, I don't know what's happened to him, but he doesn't play anyway. Chalaba still rehabbing, as is Fafana, as we know. Same with Reese James in Kunku and Romeo Lavia. Obviously, we've got Malo Gusto banned uh, for this match after the red card at the weekend. So really, the injuries are kind of as you were, per se. No no one's really come back, um, but players are getting closer to coming back, which, of course, is a big, big plus. Um, I mean, in terms of team selection, they're really, from, in my opinion, you shouldn't be too many changes being made uh, to the side, you know. Even a side that lost against Villa, there'll be a couple of changes, of course, in force. One through Malagusto being suspended. And I think there'll just be a little bit of rotation, maybe in goal, possibly in midfield. But we've got to pick the strongest possible lineup available to us. We don't play again until Monday. So there's plenty of time to prepare for that Fulham game. And I guess the tricky ones in goal. We know, obviously, Brighton are in their third game in less than a week after Europa League last Thursday against Athens and then played against Bournemouth on Sunday. And now they come to Stamford Bridge on Wednesday. De Zerbe saying in the press conference that they will be putting out the strongest lineup they possibly can. This will mean a lot to them as well, given sort of the kind of the, the everything that's happened between the two clubs. Brighton will be desperate to win this match, will be desperate to win this match. Um, so it should make for a cracking game. Hopefully for, for me, Chelsea can just score a fucking goal. That 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 would be brilliant. I mean, I'm not gonna say I'll go. I'm happy if we score, but you know, if we score, brilliant. You know, that that that, that that's a start. That's a start. But in between the sticks, obviously, with no European football, Sanchez has done well the last two games. Had a solid start to life at Chelsea. I, look, w w if Petrovic is obviously training well, he's gonna need an opportunity at some point. Are, are we essentially saying that if Sanchez plays in this game, then Petrovic is not gonna play injury permitting on Sanchez in, until January in the FA Cup? I'm not sure. I think the League Cup represents a good chance for him to come in and, and and have a game. You know, he's been here for a while now. So, look, I wouldn't be surprised if, if Sanchez plays. But I, for me, I'm, I'm happy to put Petrovic in, in goal for this one. Uh, I think he deserves an opportunity. We need to see him. And if he doesn't play in this game, well, wh wh when is the lad going to play? You know, because we, we haven't got many games to, to, to do this with. I think... The centre backs, Thiago Silva, obviously, it would be nice to give him a rest, but needs must, unfortunately, because we've got Fafana injured, Badia Shile injured, Chalaba injured. Um, the Sassi is going to have to play at right back. So we haven't actually got any options other than to play Thiago Silva. And finally, finally, we're going to see Levi Colwell at centre back. And this is what I've been waiting for for a long time. I've been banging on about it for a long time, like all Chelsea fans have. And by due to circumstance, I think we're finally going to see Levi Cole at centre-back, his natural position, where he plays best, and learning, for playing alongside one of the best to play the game. So Silver and Colwell need to start at centre-back. Uh, obviously, the right-back situation is not great. Gusto suspended, Reese James still injured. So De Sassi will have to shift out uh, to right-back. Uh, to try and combat uh, Karim Matoma if he plays. Obviously, Matoma up against the Sassi could be an interesting one. Uh, whether Matoma plays or not, we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see. But the Sassi, you know, has played at right back for Monaco. Um, he should be able to do a solid job there. Obviously, it's not ideal, but, you know, he, he's going to have to play at right back. So that gives him the best chance of winning this game. And then left back for the first time. In, well, he came, I know he came on against Villa and played left back, but that wasn't for that long. Ben Chilwell has got to be starting at left-back, people. Simple as that. Poch alluded to it in the press conference 
uh, pre-game as well that he, he, Ben Chilwell's going to play or he hit, strongly hinted Chile's going to play. So, yeah, Chilwell needs to play. And that is the back line I think we're going to go with. You could make an argument, is he going to, could he, could he switch, could we switch to a three? The sassy Colwell still have Chile at left wing back and maybe play an, an attacking player as a right wing back. I don't think we're going to switch formations for, for this game considering we've gone with the same system every game so far this season. In terms of the midfield then, and for me, Ugo Shukru needs to play. Um, you know, he, he's 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 gonna he got his chance against Bournemouth, and he he, he was superb. Um, he was also brilliant when he came on against Aston Villa. I thought he was bright, so I'd go Uga Chukwu here. Um, this is where it gets difficult because, like for me, Enzo Fernandez has been great, uh, and I, I would continue with him. I know Moises Caicedo is not the best start to life at Chelsea, but he will come good. But we need Enzo playing as that deep lying playmaker. So I would go with an Enzo. Uga Chukwu uh, pivot in there. Uh, I think that gives us gives us some nice balance in there. It allows Enzo to sit a little bit deeper um, and, and, and do his thing from that deeper line playmaking role, which he so excels in. And, you know, we've seen him struggle the last few games. He's been playing as a number 10. He's not a number 10. So Enzo and Uga Chukwu in that pivot. Um, Right-hand side for me, Raheem Sterling needs to be rested. Uh, anyway, he should be rotated. Uh, he should be dropped in my opinion, for that fucking disgraceful finishing uh, on the weekend. So on this right-hand side, I think that we should be bringing in Noddy, Noddy Madueke. I know he's not featured in the last couple of games, but he's been fit. He's been training for the last few weeks. So I'm not too sure why he's not featured, but I'd be going Madueke. I'd then be going Cole Palmer. And again, it's been strongly hinted by Pochettino that Cole Palmer will be starting in a 10. I don't think we really, really need to say too much about Cole Palmer starting. Everyone's been screaming for it. He's been fantastic when he's come on the pitch each time for Chelsea. Makes things happen. Skillful player. We signed him to play in that number 10 position and, and on the right wing. And Kunku's out, so it's perfect for Palmer to step in and play there. I don't want to see any more Conor Gallagher there. Uh, he started the season well, but Gallagher's not that guy. You know, he can be a good squad player, but he shouldn't be starting every week. So Cole Palmer in. And then we continue with Mudrick on the left-hand side. He started the last two games. Was a threat against Bournemouth. Was a threat again against Aston Villa. Let's just keep playing this guy. It's amazing what happens when you, when you get consistent game time, you get a run of games, your confidence increases, and you suddenly start playing well. It's funny that, isn't it? So for me, Mikhailo Mudrik on that left-hand side. So the team right now is, is, is looking decent. And Nicholas Jackson is not actually banned for this one. It's, it's kind of weird how it works. A straight red card applies to all domestic competitions. But if it's five bookings, which he's picked up in six games, which is a madness, by the way, then that only applies to the Premier League. So he's out of the Monday game against Fulham. So... Nicholas Jackson will lead the line. Pochettino again saying in the press conference that Bro is only ready for about 30 minutes max. So it will be Nicholas Jackson. So look, for me, Pochettino plays this lineup. We win this game, in my opinion. I, 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 I'm that confident on it that we win this game if we pick this team. This is a good team. It's got good balance. We've got players playing in their proper positions. And it's an exciting lineup. I know Brighton, I know Muggs are playing very well this season. They've got some fantastic players, Evan Ferguson. Matoma, uh, to, to, to name to name a couple. Lewis Dunk has been brilliant at the back. So, yeah, look, it's going to be a tough, tough ask. But if Chelsea are going to kickstart their season, it needs to start on Wednesday night. It needs to start with Pochettino picking this team. Um, and, yeah, I think I think if, if this team goes out, we can feel confident about it. Um, and we just got to keep plugging away, people. We've got to keep plugging away. But this, for me, is the team that gives us the best chance of winning. You can say, oh, why have you left Caicedo out? Look, at the end of the day, Ugo who deserve, deserves a chance to play. He's done very well. Um, and for me, Kai Soda can come on. Uh, you know, it's League Cup, still building his building his fitness up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, yeah, look, that's the team that we should be going with tomorrow night. No excuses not to be seeing this. Um, you know, the Cup has got to be taken seriously. It's not a joke this season for us. I mean, I'm not saying it should ever be a joke for us trying to win a domestic cup, but... You know, no domestic silverware since 2017. For a club of our stature, our size, the money that we spent recently, we need to be winning a trophy as quickly as possible. Get that winning feeling into the squad with all these new players. A lot of them, it could be the first trophies they've won. And yeah, no no excuses, people. No excuses whatsoever. This is the lineup. If the gaffer picks this, we win. Uh, we can clip this up if you want, people, if we do pick this lineup. But yeah, that's the team that I think should be picked. We win. We pick this team, we win. But yeah, people, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on what lineup you would like to see. Do you agree with my lineup? 
Uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification button, people, and I'll catch you again in another video soon. Take care, up the Chelsea, and peace out.